Good day, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And I want to look at the piano roll editor. I want to look at some of the best DAWs out there that are having piano roll editors. Having a piano roll editor that is user friendly can be able to help you whenever you want to add any uh, MIDI instrument. For example, you want to add a pad or you want to add a keyboard to it and you want to create some simple chords with it and edit those chords to fit into your track or your song. Okay, so I used the criteria for judging the piano roll editor. The criteria that I used was my own personal one. You can tell me what you think about it and if there's some element that is missing in it. First one, I, I looked at the GUI, I looked at the colors, pattern, formation, how it looks. Presentation for me is uh, a lot of times everything because it encourages me to feel like this is something I bought, this is something I paid for, and I'm busy creating my own music, and that, that's for me very important. So what I work with and how it looks like is very important for me, as much as how it performs as well. A good comparison would be FabFilter. I enjoy using FabFilter. Uh, editing power. So how much power does it give me when I'm editing? Do I feel I'm in control or do I have to constantly search and try and find where the notes are and try and find where the grid is and so on? So the editing power, I want that to be in my hands. Uh, the, the third one is the keyboard shortcuts. Uh, some of the DAWs that I looked at don't really have very good keyboard shortcuts. You have to go in and create your own. You have to sort of like uh, try and find out what to do when you want to raise the velocity up and when you want to shorten it. And then the fourth one is the grid background. Does it highlight notes and make work flow easy? I know exactly where my notes are outlined, where they are on the grid, and that helps me work faster, easier. Okay, and then the last one is the drum roll, uh, note editing. So the drum roll, uh, when I want to create drums that I want, then I want to have a drum roll in my MIDI editor that is user-friendly as well. All right, so in performance, in ranging from low to high, uh, machine native instrument comes fifth and one of the reasons why it's at fifth place is because you can't expand it so it has this little tiny screen where you have to work from and then there's just no colors basically as well the uh, the notes do not have any color and the grid background um, the reaper also falls in this category it has uh, its notes are colored though but the grid and um, the easiness of working with it is just uh, not there for me and then uh, samplitude magic comes uh, third uh, samplitude magic comes third because notes are not in different colors uh, the background that is not very clear for me, the grid reference that you have to struggle to adjust and change and so on, it's not constant for me, so it's not a very friendly ground for me to create notes and not very inviting as well. In the second place was Studio One. It's because Studio One notes are colored, the background is good, shortcuts are logical, I can be able to, anybody can uh, pick it up and then you can be able to figure out without even looking at the keyboard shortcuts what, and then you can figure out what they are. So it's very attractive, easy to work with, I spend a lot of time working on my MIDI editor, more than I do in Samplitude Pro works because of the way Studio One has presented the piano roll editor in its DAW. So that's one to look at. And then the first one is FL Studio. One of the reasons I chose it is because it is a template. Come on, you guys, for your chords. It's easy. It's like uh, it's almost like a canvas that you are working on. You are an artist. You have a canvas. Your background is clear. Your colors are clear. You can do uh, you can do various things on it. It's easy to find your place and find your notes and do editing. And uh, it's inviting and uh, it's user friendly. And uh, I think this top. Uh, a lot of uh, DAWs out there. If it's not the best in uh, the music industry, FL Studio piano roll, I uh, thumbs up for it. If I have to move to FL Studio, if I have to, not to, I won't move. If I have to use FL Studio just for its piano roll, uh, I will do that because it was very inviting for me. I, I don't use FL Studio, but I use it for 30 minutes and I could I figure out a lot of things without even reading the manual and without even trying to figure out a lot of stuff. So thank you very much. Please like and subscribe.